Hello everybody, this video is going to be my makeup storage and how I store my makeup now that I've moved into my flat. I'm not going to go through the makeup too much because most of it's generally the same as when I did my previous makeup collection and storage. Unless there's anything new that I can think of that I've added in, I might show you that. But this video is generally going to be how I store my makeup now and like my dressing table, my setup, etc. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm feeling a bit run down today, so hence why I'm completely barefaced on camera. Again, I haven't done that in quite a while. And um, yeah, so I did film this video before, but it didn't kind of come out how, how I wanted it to. I was holding the camera, so it was a bit shaky. So I'm gonna try and film it using my tripod as well. So you probably won't see me that much when I actually show you the way um, I store my makeup now. You just obviously hear my voice telling you about it. So yeah, I'm gonna get on with the video now. So this is my dressing table as you look at it. And obviously you can see me in the mirror, hello. And so that's my mirror. And as you can see, there's light bulbs on it and it does light up, which I'll show you in a minute. But I'm seeing if, you, if I can fit it all in. So this is my dressing table as you look at it. So I'll show you the lights lit up. They do go quite bright. That's not as bright as they go. They go really bright and it's like blinding. So that's the lights lit up. I got that off of eBay. I will try and find the link. I say I have had, I've lived in my flat over a year now. So it was obviously before I moved. I will try and find a link to this mirror if not this mirror then something that's similar and I also got the dressing table off of eBay as well so as again I will try and link to the dressing table and if not then to something similar so say so that's it as you look at it so over this side in this little like hold all pot thing I had this when I showed my previous makeup storage and in there I've just got my Sea salt spray from Lush. I've got that in a little e.l.f. Um, makeup mist spray bottle as well because the spray doesn't spray very well. I'm going to do a review on that. And also my Collection 2000 Fix Me Up, which is nearly all finished. So they just sit in there. And then in this top drawer, I've got my lip products. Oh, if the drawer will open. I've got so much stuff in there, I can't always open the drawer straight away. So these are mainly just my lipsticks and I've just got like soap and glory ones in there. I've got lipsticks and lip glosses and I even one there with lip scrub that I got in one of my beauty boxes and Nivea that my friend got me for my birthday. Dior one that's quite old now, lip gloss, a lip balm. They're just all different lip glosses, lip balms and lipsticks in there. And then in this second drawer down, I've just got some eye bits. I've got my Naked Basics palette, Urban Decay Smoky Eye palette, um, some Urban Decay Primer Potion, my MAC paint pots that I've had for quite a while now, and the Body Shop um, Body Glitter Stuff, um, a Wet n Wild that I've got in New York, yeah, Wet n Wild palette. Just kind of all bits that I don't really know what else to do with them. So they just all sit in the second drawer down. And then the third drawer down has just got all my hair bits in. So I've got some elastic hair bands, just some normal hair bands, hair clip. I've got a lip balm in there that I've got in one of my beauty boxes that I can't fit in there at the moment. Some hair grips in this little bit. A brush I got from my friend for my birthday, some hair bands, and in there there's just some like hair clips and other hair bands. So that's what sits in my little three drawer holder. Then over this way, I've got my mirror, which is just a little freestanding mirror that I use if I'm doing a get ready with me, etc. Then I've got my little pot of brushes. These are the ones that I generally use from day to day. So they're just, I keep them in a little pot over there just so. They're just handy, really. Then I've got a hand gel, um, my Soap and Glory 
trick and treatment under eye concealer I keep that out just because it gets really dirty around the edges so I don't want it to get on to my other makeup and make that dirty then just moving along I've got my simple cleanser lotion which is actually upside down at the moment because it's running out and I just turn it upside down so I can try and use up the last of the product then I've got my beauty blender which just sits in the case that it came in there because I use that every day then I've got my earrings let's come this side to show you these are just little hearts and these are just my everyday earrings I wear them to work etc then I've got my perfume that I'm using at the moment which at the moment it's the Lacoste Joy of Pink I've had that for a long time I can't even remember when I brought that so um yeah just any perfume that I'm using on a regular basis just sits on there then I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray then on this side of my dressing table I've got a little container that holds my cotton buds or q-tips if whatever you call them in here is the top of my makeup holder that I've got on the other side and I just keep my cotton pads um, cotton pads even in there just so that they're ready at hand when I want them and then behind that I've got a hold all the free hold all pot from e.l.f and in one side I've just got all my brushes and my combs the next one I've just got this finishing polish from is it Percy and Reed? yeah Percy and Reed which I'm trying to finish up I've not got much left and then in here I've got my e.l.f makeup brush cleaner and my travelos, some nail files etc I really want to get rid of this because I don't know why but it's really really sticky like the hold all has anyone else had one of them hold all pots from elf and it's gone sticky let me know in the comments box because I've cleaned it and everything and I just can't seem to get the stickiness off it and I, as far as I know nothing's been spilt on it and as I say I have cleaned it I've scrubbed it etc but I don't know what's wrong with it so in the first drawer over here I've got just some disposable tissues in case I need them when I'm doing my makeup and I've got all my brushes all of these are still in the drawers that were in my other makeup collection and storage video I just kept all the little drawers to keep everything just tidy and just everything in its place so I've got all my brushes laid out in there I've got these notebooks that I got in one of my beauty boxes and I just keep them in there in case I want to write anything down normally I write down if I'm going to do a review on a product I will jot bits down in there when I think of them in here I've got some lip glosses uh, I've got some Berry M ones soap and glory ones um, I love strawberries and milkshake some Studio London ones, just all different bits in there. I've got another Soap and Glory one, just all different ones in there. And they just sit there and that's what's in my first drawer. All of my foundations in this drawer. So I've got my number seven one. I've got my Gemma Kid one, which I'm really trying to use up. Not got much left. I've got my eye brightener from Simple. I've got my concealer in here and my YSL Touche Clark, which I'm trying to use up as well. Um, onto my Smashbox Photo Ready Primer, my BB Cream from Body Shop, just all of my say foundations here. That's my Estee Lauder one. Um, yep, so and then in here I've got my face powder. So I've got my bronzers, I've got my face powder. This is the Dior one, this is the Nude, Dior Skin Nude, and I've not got that much of it left. I'm trying to get that one used up. Um, I've got my collection bronzer glow mosaic which I think I've got that in one of my beauty boxes as well an hourglass this is the diffused light in amber I got this because of the rave about it it's all right I don't find anything that amazing about it but um yeah just all different bronzers and bits sitting there I've got the body shop one there that should be in there um I've got a highlighter this one is the body shop one this was the lily cole collection that's meant to go in there but it doesn't fit and this is the soap and glory glow all out one which is okay that just sits there i've got a tea towel as you can see it's dirty and it's washing that i use to clean my brushes and then under there 
is what I got in the sales last year is soap and glory this has got a different all different bits in i think it's got um lipsticks some eyeshadows some blushes bronzer etc all just like an easy travel thing really so that just sits under there which i haven't actually used so i need to kind of bust that out really and then in the third drawer down this is where i keep all of my palettes i've got this one from is this the collection one can't remember now um Oh no, I think this is the number seven one and it's Midnight Jewel and it just looks like that. I haven't actually used it yet. It looks like that on the top, which is quite pretty. I've got my Sleek palettes, uh, my Too Faced one. I've got a mirror from Estee Lauder. It must come in one of the packs that I got from there. I've got my Urban Decay palettes. Um, this is, I can't remember which this one's called, um, I think this is like the butterfly palette, I think, something like that, and you open it up and it's got all butterflies in it. This was the New York palette, and I open up, this one's really pretty, it opens up and it lights up. Then I've got the Urban Decay Vault palette down here, you can see it. Um... I've got this one, which if you watched my New York haul, you would know all about this one. It's still in the bag. Um, I put it in this with just like a sandwich bag. I've cleaned this so many times and I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but can you see all the gold eyeshadow all over it still? I've cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and it just still seems to go everywhere and I don't ever touch this palette anymore it stays in that bag because i'm still very upset that it broke so this is the urban decay this was the 15 year palette i think and it's just beautiful urban decay and their packaging is just amazing then under all of these i've got all my single eyeshadows here got some glam culture ones um some mac ones the elf palette um some Little Urban Decay shadows, some NARS, Estee Lauder ones, etc. And to be honest, I very rarely actually go in this drawer. I very rarely ever get out my single eyeshadows anymore. And yeah, I'm kind of in two minds whether to sell some of these Urban Decay palettes. I, but I'm like, it's kind of a collector's thing because they've never really been used. So I'm like... Should I sell them or should I keep them? Would they be worth any money one day? I really don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments box. I never use them. So should I keep them or should I sell them? I've got other ones here. I've got the Evan Decay Midnight Emergency Palette. I like Evan Decay in case you didn't notice. This is the Urban Decay. Um, I can't remember what one this is called. And just a little four quad thing. And it's got a little chain at the top. Um, I've got Urban Decay... Naked One palette. I've got the Urban. I've got the Naked Two palette as well, and I've never actually used that one either. So that just sits in there as well. So that's everything that's in my third drawer down, and then in my fourth drawer down, the last drawer on this side, I've got all my hair bits. So this is a straightener case, and then you get the mat with it that clips over it and just wraps them up. I've got my hair straighteners. Hairbrush, hairbrush, hair dryer, even um, a big hair hair dryer from Babyliss, I think it is. Um, I've got some hair brushes in there that I don't use. I've got my curling tongs in there. Um, I've got the gloves. Yeah, so that's just kind of everything in there, really. Just as I say, like all my hair bits go in there. I try and keep them down to like minimum so they all fit in the drawer. So that's in the last drawer over there. And this is what I have underneath my dressing table. It didn't always look like this. It was completely clear, but I've kind of filled it up as time's gone on. I have an extension lead here that I just plug in my hair bits when I'm using them. I've got my bin. This is really heavy and it's silver sparkly. It's got like mirror bits in it. And I've got this in Next, I think it was where I got the rest of, this is actually a bathroom bin, and my bathroom has got all the other bits that match the bin. But 
I didn't really want a bin in my bathroom and I wanted one in my bedroom, hence why this is in here. Then this bag is actually my all used up products bag. It's a big Christmas bag that I got this Christmas from my friend and my other one had got too small to be honest so I've got a big Christmas bag with my products in now which I'm going to be filming very soon if I've got time I might do it after this video then in here this bag has got flowers and butterflies on this is what I keep all of my samples in that I've got from beauty boxes just bits I've collected along the way just yeah so basically that's completely filled up <laughs> with samples and bits that I need to use you have seen most of what's in there but if you do want to do do want me to do a video of the bits that I have in here that I need to use up let me know then over here oh sorry if you heard that bang over here this is my backups in this glossy box I've got bits that I have recently purchased and I either need to use or do a review on them so I've got some Myelin Class lipsticks, I've got some Colleen Rooney bits, I've got a Mimi Me palette, a little brush set that I've got. So as I say, I've either need to use them or I need to do like reviews on them, etc. They just go in there. Then over here I've got another free draw container. I can't think what you call them. Um, organizer or something which I've got in the 99p shop and I have all my backups in here. So these are all my mascaras that I need to use up. These are my primers that I've got and in this drawer is just some like powders and some more primers. So I do actually have a lot of like mascaras and primers etc to use up but I'm gradually working my way through them. So that's everything that like sits underneath my dressing table. Then in this drawer, the top drawer over this side, I have all of my blushes and this is my old camera that I sometimes still use. I've got some pads there that won't fit in the other drawer. My chargers for my cameras. And I've just got some little packs. This is from the birch box that I keep in there in case I need them. So I've got my blushes here. I've got all my different ones. My tart ones, my sleek, Benefit, 17, number seven. All just different blushes sitting there. And then behind them, is the mascaras that I'm using at the moment. The one I'm using is the MUA Extreme Volume Mascara. This is okay, it's not that bad, but it's not exactly brilliant. They just all sit in there. Then underneath that one, I have all my eyeliners as well. Just got all different ones in there from e.l.f. to the Body Shop to Urban Decay. Um, yeah, just all different ones in there. So they sit behind that and then my mascara one just sits on top of it. Um, in the second drawer down, this is all my face bits that I'm currently using and just anything else. So I've got my hairspray in there, this is by the Feel Smooth. Then I've got my Tresemme Texture Style Spray, my Sainsbury's Heat Defense Spray, makeup eye makeup remover, Rainforest Detangling Spray from The Body Shop, my Simple Toner, Simple Face Wipes, my Body Butter from Superdrug, which one of my friends brought me for my birthday. This is the Lotus Flower and Cherry Blossom, it smells really nice. Um, some more moisturiser, some 17 bronzer that I got, I haven't really used that much. My glossing serum from the body shop for my hair and this is the night moisturizer I'm using at the moment this is from Nukes Paris and it's what I got in one of my beauty boxes I got my dry shampoo from Lush so as I say this drawer is kind of like all my hair stuff and my skincare stuff that I use from day to day in this drawer the third drawer down is my backups of most of my skin bits I've got my big mirror I've got my mitt from my bronzer when I've done it my number seven um hydration mark this is for dry and very dry skin I don't use this day to day I use this when my skin's feeling quite dry and I'll put it on before I go to bed at night so I don't use it every day I've got some face masks from Superdrug then moisturizer uh, it's foliated from simple my simple toner simple face wash 
Um, Soap and Glory Tired Eye Brightener. Another face wash from Simple. Um, I've got my Cocoa Brown Bronzer. I think I've only used that once. And another mask there from Superdrug. I've got my Rainforest Radiance hair mask from the Body Shop. That just sits there. Um, I've got my other backup of my Urban Decay spray that I got for Christmas. Some cotton pads from the Body Shop. A moisturiser from Simon Glory. Love this moisturiser. I use this as well when that one that I'm using at the moment from Nukes is not cutting it. Some cuticle oil from Boots. Um, a cleanser from Simple. Then I've just got another Simple face wash. Oh, another um, mask from Superdrug. And this is the Vitamin E Overnight Serum Oil from The Body Shop. Um, yeah, just kind of random bits. I'm not sure what this is. What's that? This is another sample that I must have got in one of my beauty boxes. Oh, Nourishing Moisturiser. So that should be in my samples bag, which has just gone in there. My Satsuma Body Sorbet from Body Shop. So everything that's kind of like a backup of things all goes in there. And then in the last drawer, I've just got some pots and things. So these are two of the ones I've used up from Lush. And I think so if you save five, yeah, bring back five clean full-size pots or tubs and get a free fresh face mask. So that's two that I've used up that I'm saving. A storage pot that I use to put my face masks in because one face mask generally can do two can do two uses. So I'll put the rest in that. This is the cover for my Babyliss Big Hair hair dryer thingy. Um, in here, in this um, glossy box is all my perfumes. They all sit in there nicely. I've got some curling tongs that don't fit in my other drawer and I hardly ever use these so I just throw them in here. Travel pots and bits and just some other travel bags and bits that just sit there. And then this is the one um, pot holder from e.l.f. and is another birch box bag that I just stuffed in there because I didn't really know what to do with it. Um, so I'm trying to use up my other bits in that three hole door and then I'm going to try and put all my brushes in there and because this one's not sticky at the moment. The other one wasn't sticky when I got it so I'm hoping that's not going to turn sticky. And then this is what I got at the hotel when I went on holiday in September. Just some other travel bits as well. So that's everything that's in my bottom drawer. So that's how I store all my makeup now and that's my dressing table arrangement I hope that was helpful for some people and you found that interesting and as I say I will try and link everything I can like the dressing table and the mirror etc in the description box and if I can't find the exact ones I will try and find ones that are similar as I say I hope everyone's doing well and I will see you in my next video bye so and to get something as well that you can actually use 